In this module, we will talk about some basic principles of the growth kinetics inside the continuous culture. We have already discussed the different uh, aspects of continuous culture with respect to the dilution and the flow rate etcetera, but here we will discuss in detail that how it happen. So, continuous culture or a continuous cultivation at steady state is possible only when all factors which we called as contributing factors to the accumulation of the biomass are exactly balanced by all factors which we called as contributing factors. So, this equation in which is cell added to the system, cell removed from the system, cell produced through the growth and cell consumed in result of death. So, when we say that cell added to the system, equation we can say that F x naught over V. So, here F is the flow rate and x naught is uh, the amount of the biomass which we add as in oculum. So, V is the volume of the medium inside the fermenter we can say that when we start the fermentation that volume of the fermenter at the time of in oculum addition. So, then there is a F x F is the flow rate and x is the biomass concentration when the system is on and when we check that and V is again the volume and then is the mu x mu x is the which we called as d x over d t the change in biomass concentration with respect to time and the a x a x refer to that when there is a fermentation process that there are different stages some cells have achieved their last stage which we called as death, death stage sometimes cells become dead due to some uh, toxic uh, secretions. So, if we have this equation uh, which we called as equation 3. So, these are the different four situations what is the biomass which we are adding as in term of inoculum and then the actual biomass concentration and then the specific growth rate and then the death rate. So, that is basically the input inside uh, uh, the fermentation vessel while we say that there is a continuous culture. So, these different uh, aspects we have in our mind. So, we have here that uh, when we say that d x over d t is equal to 0 then we called as when this d x over d t is equal to 0 we referred in our previous module this kind of state is a steady state. So, in a previous slide you have seen that uh, that equation which we called as uh, the various situation inside the continuous culture. So, according to that if we assume that the death as compared to the growth is very less here we see that A which is the death rate is very very less as compared to the growth rate. So, then we can say and then we can assume that A x the total number of de uh, death of the cells is very less we can ignore it. So, if we say that x naught is equal to 0 mean the amount of the biomass added as an inoculum that mostly considered 0 negligible amount as compared to the total biomass concentration inside the fermentation vessel. So, then we can say that so, that condition that can also be ignored. So, hence when we say that by this equation then we can have a fourth equation we can say that mu specific growth rate is equal to flow over volume which is become equal to d. So, as we have already discussed that in a steady state that is only when mu is equal to d. Uh, but when we say that mu is equal to d we are ignoring the 
biomass concentration as an inoculum and the death rate and the death of the cells happening during the fermentation conditions. So, the specific growth rate of the population within the continuous fermenter is determined by the dilution rate as we have discussed in detail in a previous module. So, the chemostate operated with the sterile field. So, when we say that we are feeding something and there is no more addition of the substrate out uh, when we are adding something from the outside and we are feeding some substrate it is assumed that should be the sterile mean we are not having more addition of uh, the biomass. So, then we say that x is uh, x naught is equal to 0 then we say that the, the feed or uh, the substrate and the dilution which we have adding that is a very in a sterile conditions. So, in such case we can say that mu, mu is equal to uh, 0 that is very controlling uh, factor of that, but if we are the feed is not sometime uh, having uh, sterilized then that can disturb the whole uh, continuous culture. So, when we say that uh, limiting nutrient balance for the chemostat conditions. So, so as we have seen that uh, when we are talking about uh, the basic principles of that. So, when we say that uh, the limiting nutrient balance for a chemostat. So, we can see here in a previous slide we see that uh, that is the situation when we are only focusing the biomass concentration. But if we also focused on the substrate concentration during uh, the continuous culture. So, the input minus output and then minus consumed. So, what we have added into that and what we have harvest that and then some amount of the substrate during the fermentation period will be consumed by the organism. So, that is then there is the overall accumulation of that substrate. So, this can be expressed by different uh, letters that d s naught minus d s minus mu max over yield coefficient is equal to d s over d t the overall change in substrate concentration divided by the time that is the overall change. So, we can as we have already seen that d is basically equal to flow rate over volume and then S naught and S are the substrate concentration and then X is the dry cell mass and Y X over S is the yield coefficient with respect to the substrate. So, if this equation 5 we can say that if the product formation other than the cell. So, our product is not the cell then we can say in a chemostat steady state the equation 5 can be transformed into D is equal to S naught minus S because equation 5 when our uh, product is associated with the biomass. So, this equation equation 6 is that equation when we say that that the product is not associated with the biomass. So, D is equal to S naught minus S is equal to mu max over Y over X S. So, if we substitute the uh, um, this equation 6 when we have the substitution of the equation 4 into this equation. So, then we have the equation like this x is equal to y x over s into x naught minus x because we have just put uh, the uh, e value of uh, equation 4 into this equation. When we say that there is a growth yield that is uh, basically dependent over the uh, limiting uh, nutrient concentration. Then by rearranging the previous equation we have uh, this equation which is basically simple equation of the rearrangement and uh, reshaping of the Monod equation. So, we say that if we uh, rearrange that previous equation by just uh, having uh, equation 7 to 8 then we have uh, this equation that is basically the reshaping of uh, the previous equation. So, when we having a um, more reshaping of 7 and 8 equation 
after all we have this last equation which we called as x is equal to uh, yield coefficient and s naught and that. So, by this if we know the uh, critical dilution rate and the k s value then we can determine the biomass concentration in continuous culture. 